ECU Athletics and Play Fly Sports present the Mike Houston Show. The Mike Houston Show is brought to you by ECU Health, your healthcare home. Coming up this week on the Mike Houston Show, we come to you from Boca Raton, Florida, the home of Florida Atlantic University. It's the Pirates and the Owls of FAU from South Florida, and it's a big day for the Pirates. East Carolina Hall of Famer Luke Fisher made the short trip from his home in West Palm Beach to see the Pirates play this week. We'll hear from Big Luke. Our Pirate profile is Keaton Mitchell, who had his coming out party for the Baltimore Ravens last week. And we'll get you ready for next week as East Carolina hits the road to Annapolis, Maryland to battle Navy. This is the Mike Houston Show on a winning Pirate weekend, and the Pirate head coach joins me next. We'll see you back here next Saturday. The Mike Houston Show is brought to you in part by Pepsi, the official soft drink of Pirate Nation. Check it, check it, check it, check it out. Introducing the new and improved taste of Pepsi Zero Sugar. Now more delicious. Zero never tasted so good. Try it now. This is about you, your family, and the health of all who live in Eastern North Carolina. This is about the transformation of a health system into something more powerful and more human. About creating new ways to treat disease and keep you well. This is about ECU Health, which is to say, it's really all about you. ECU Health. Minds. Hearts. Purpose. All these other banks are changing names right and left. They don't care like they used to care a long time ago. Jim Clement, president of Town Insurance, talks about Town's people here in Greenville. With Town Insurance and now Town Bank, the folks that work for us have that attitude where if somebody walks in, I'm here to help them. And I think that's the team that Town Bank's put together here. They have that attitude. Honesty, it's sincerity, it's hard work, it's genuineness that, that, that these people have that are here. Greenville Nissan is electrifying ECU football. Shop your home field favorites for a great selection of all new electric vehicles, like the all-electric 2023 Nissan Aria, PD the Pirate approved, and perfect for an ECU game day. Find yours today at your home team Nissan dealer and get to the game in a new Nissan Aria. Greenville Nissan is electrifying ECU football. drive the unrelenting desire to become the person you were born to be ignited by a moment the realization that a future you could only dream of is within reach at East Carolina University you won't just imagine a path you'll forge one through hard work and the success that comes without surrender the journey that leads to your future and this is where it begins Welcome back to the Mike Houston Show, brought to you in part by Town Bank. Town Bank, serving others, enriching lives. Welcome back to the Mike Houston Show. Brian Bailey with Coach Houston. A winning Saturday for East Carolina, 22-7 over Florida Atlantic, and you got a big smile on your face. Well, yeah, it, this one certainly feels good. Uh, you know, we've been, we've been playing better and better. Um, and, you know, it's, the frustrating thing is just, you know, the, the almost, you know, the leads, leads in the fourth quarter, tied in the fourth quarter, whatever, not able to close them out. And, and we talked about last night and this morning just, you know, really wanting to play four full quarters and really just finish a game out and uh, just really ecstatic about the way the kids competed today. The first big play in the first half, the block punt, big play by your special team. Yeah, Julian Davis yeah. Uh, playing in his third college football game ever. So, and, and to be honest, we, we worked it all week. And uh, and that wasn't an all-out 
rush. There were only three guys rushing, but we had, and he had blocked one in practice this week. Uh, and we did, we did feel pretty confident we could get one tonight. And uh, it was just great for him to, you know, big momentum change right there after we got stopped on fourth down. Uh, we get to fourth down, block punt, gave us great field position and great momentum to start the ball game. Defense holds at 7 nothing after one. You feel pretty good. We do. Now, the only negative is we really have dominated the first quarter and you only have a seven-point lead. And that's, you know, you always worry, or I always worry as a head coach, just that you, you, you let them hang around too much. But, uh, you know, we knew it was going to be a tough game to win with as talented of a team as FAU is. Early in the second quarter, Andrew Conrad from 46. Yeah, I mean, he, you know, Andrew has uh, hit a couple over 50 this year and uh, very strong legs. We felt good. You know, that, that, uh, that first field goal was uh, – into the wind, and so uh, you know, not the not the most ideal, but uh, he has plenty of leg to hit it. Florida Atlantic finally got some offense going. Had a couple of outside runs, and that set up their quarterback with a touchdown run. Yeah, we really screwed up on a couple of things. That was that that drive was frustrating because we should have had it stopped right there around midfield, uh, and and let him get out on a couple of things. And then he, even the even the third down play that scored the Johnson scored, we'd called a pressure. That should have hit it right in the mouth. We 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 thought they were going to run the zone read. They did run the zone read. We should have had a, a defender right there as soon as he pulled the ball, and you know we screwed that up. Okay, the Pirates would uh, get the ball back. Flynn goes to Chase Owell, 33 yards down to the 28 to set you up in good shape again. Yeah, a couple of explosive plays, uh, you know, tonight by Chase and uh, Jalen Johnson both, uh, and and certainly Chase is playing better and better as the season wears on. Uh, and, you know, he and Alex have, have developed a really good chemistry. And Conrad knocks it down from 47 yards this time. Yep. So, uh, you know, he had quite a night. You know, he, he had none, none of those were short tonight. So, but, uh, but he, you know, he had, he had just a great night. You look back at that first half and just talk about how well your defense played the entire first. And they played well in the second half, too, as right. well. And really, you look at the stats at halftime, and it was so lopsided that you're almost kind of ticked it's only 13-7. But, again, you know, you are playing very well defensively. Uh, you just hope that coming out of halftime, uh, you know, they didn't they didn't kind of get anything going that you're able to sustain that uh, you know physicality and intensity up front. I mean, the game was eerily similar to some of the games you know earlier in the season, and you had to be yeah. thinking about that too. Well, that's the thing is is we've we've been here so many times in this same situation. Uh, the difference is now we're playing so much better in the second half than we were earlier in the year. 13-7 was the score at halftime. We'll take a look at the second half highlights when the Mike Houston Show continues right after this. The Mike Houston Show is brought to you by Bud Light, the official light lager of the ECU Pirates. and just $6.99. Enough for two, price for one. Pizza Hut Melts, just $6.99. When your Pirates come out to compete, we want to make sure our team is ready, and our field is too. That's why we trust Eastern Turf Maintenance to maintain our fields, and you can too. From fertilization and weed control to aeration, let the team at Eastern Turf Maintenance make your lawn the envy of the neighborhood. From the stadium to your backyard, Eastern Turf Maintenance can make your lawn game day beautiful. Stay ahead of the game. Call Eastern Turf Maintenance today for your free estimate. Being a divorce attorney isn't just a job, it's a calling. At Irons and & Irons, we take that responsibility seriously. Our team of dedicated professionals is second to none. Our firm offers a level of skill, and personal attention that only we can provide. If you need an experienced divorce attorney who truly cares about you and your family, call me today or visit our website at ironsandirons.com. I'm an average guy, a lot like you. My job took a toll on my body, but I'm not giving in to the pain, and neither should you. There's a new game when it comes down to relief from agonizing joint pain. 
and that's QC Kinetics. Elite athletes have used these amazing natural treatments for years. QC Kinetics, a long-lasting solution for joint pain. No surgery or downtime. You and me, we got things to do. Go ahead, coach. Come on, team, let's go! Me time is melt time. It's cheesy, so crispy, loaded with toppings, and just $6.99. Enough for two, price for one. Pizza Hut melts, just $6.99. Mike Houston Show is brought to you in part by Pizza Hut. No one out pizzas the hut. All right, welcome back to the Mike Houston Show. Brian Bailey with Coach Houston. Pirates led it 13-7 at the half, and you dodged a huge bullet early in that second half. No doubt. So I, t I told you, Si, maybe the biggest play of the night was uh, him touching the ball uh, that he fumbled after he was out of bounds, which made the ball out of bounds. And so... Uh, you know, that's, that's one time where re re replay didn't uh, didn't get us this year. So uh, big, big, big dodge bullet right there. Yeah, re review looked at it and they said that it was out of bounds, yep. and so that settled that. Uh, Florida Atlantic had a nice drive, third down play, and it was your big man Sir Ed Ware comes up with a big sack. Yeah, Sue had a couple of them tonight, and uh, he, 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 that whole defensive front really did a good job. Not only you know, stopping the run tonight, but really got after the quarterback. I don't know how many sacks we had, but we had a bunch. Florida Atlantic comes out and misses a field goal, so all the momentum stays with East Carolina. Yeah, and that's, you know, you got to have some, uh, you know, some breaks uh, to win close ball games, and certainly we uh, we got a couple right there in the third quarter. Later in the third quarter, Flynn hits another big pass play. Yeah, Jalen uh, hit, hit him on a crossing route, uh, and, you know, we, we thought we would get him matched up and empty, which, uh, which we did. Uh, he was matched up on a linebacker, you know, which is a pretty good mismatch. And we had some great blocks. Chase had a big block downfield to really spring him uh, and ended up having a, a huge explosive play. So we go to the fourth quarter, still 13-7, second play of the fourth quarter. Kyron comes out and nails another field goal. Yeah, I mean, I, you hate to sit here and kick a bunch of field goals, but, you know, the thing with that one is it got it to where, you know, it's 16-7 to seven now, you know, it's a two-possession game. Right. And uh, and that is that is huge in a low scoring ball game. And then your defense just took over. It seemed like it was fourth down for Florida Atlantic the whole fourth right. quarter, and somebody stepped up. Dante Johnson steps up early. Right. Well, you know, you had Florida Atlantic where you were under ten minutes. It's a two possession game, uh, so you know they're they're going to go forward on fourth down, you know, because they've they've got to score. Uh, and so it turns into you know us playing very well defensively, getting stops, is giving our offense short fields. And fourth down again from the ECU 38. You stop an another stop against this Florida Atlantic offense, and that set up another field goal. Well, and that's, you know, it, like I said, the fourth quarter may, have, may not have been the prettiest thing in the world, <laughs> but uh, it was a great defensive effort, uh, and really it was dominant. I mean, that's against an explosive offense like that, that was about as dominant a fourth quarter as you could possibly hope for. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, Andrew, um, you know, he had a phenomenal night, set a new school record for field goals in a game with five. Uh, we could have tried another one there at the very end, but we want, we elected to uh, try to drain some more time off the clock, uh, you know, with a 22-7 lead. But, uh, you know, it, it, we were doing what it took to win. Conrad with field goals from 40, 43, two from 46, one from 47. So what a great night for him. What a great night for the defense. And then the celebration afterwards. You guys get in the locker room. and uh, A lot of guys were relieved because this team probably deserved to win five or six so far this year, but they got one tonight. Yeah, I mean – you could sit there and talk about a play here, a play there, and, and you know, you've been talking about you know, going to a bowl game after that win, but it, it is what it is. You know, our record is what it is. Um, it was a great night. Um, thank you to the fans that were here. I mean, we had a huge contingency of Pirate fans in the in the home, or in our, our visitor side uh, end zone down there, and, you know, watching them celebrate with the players after the game. I uh, just really appreciate them being here and supporting our team. Uh, and then that locker room was it, was, it was a good one tonight. So, uh, you know, the kids were you know, ecstatic about, because, you know, you sit there 13-10 against Tulane last week, and I know everybody, you know, you, you played great, you played great, but you didn't get what you were after, right. which is a victory. And so to be able to come out and play uh, really 
a dominant defensive football game, a dominant special teams game. And, you know, you may not have been the prettiest offensive game in the world, but we did a great job taking care of the football. We had some explosive plays. We controlled the field position. Uh, and that's a, that's a team deal to control the field position. And we did what it took to win. Great night for the Pirates. They win it 22-7. to Coming up next here on the Mike Houston Show, we'll check in with East Carolina Hall of Famer Luke Fisher, who was in town for the game. That's coming up right after this. Uh, yeah, I just found out that I broke the school record. It, it feels amazing. I mean, I wish I would have got that sixth one, like Coach was saying earlier. Uh, but I'm glad to help out the team in any way I can. It feels pretty great to win, man. You know, we've been we work all week, every week, the entire season. And then finally, fans to put it all together and get a win. It feels good. Yeah, finally. We, uh, you know, we worked really hard um, this week, and we've been working hard. And you know, I'm glad that you know we finally got the uh, reward. The Mike Houston Show is brought to you in part by Pizza Hut. No one out pizzas the hut. I've built the perfect tailgate. Phil won't know what hit him. With Bojangles, you can tailgate like a legend, not like a Phil. It's a touchdown! Hey, guys, can I have some more? It's bow time. Head to Bojangles and order your tailgate box today. If you have an appetite for saving money, get the new Rofo Rewards app from Royal Farms. Use the Rofo Rewards app to make purchases or place mobile orders for pickup or delivery and earn royalty points redeemable for free stuff. Download the new Rofo app at the Apple App Store or Google Play. And right now, new Rofo Rewards members will get a free any size coffee for signing up. Get the new Rofo Rewards app today. It's a very app healing app to have. Real fresh, real fast, Royal Farms. All these other banks are changing names right and left. They don't care like they used to care a long time ago. Jim Clement, president of Town Insurance, talks about Town's people here in Greenville. With Town Insurance and now Town Bank, the folks that work for us have that attitude where if somebody walks in, I'm here to help them. And I think that's the team that Town Bank's put together here. They have that attitude. Honesty, it's sincerity, it's hard work, it's genuineness that, that, that these people have that are here. for winning season and team up with quality equipment your local john deere dealer and proud sponsor of the ecu pirates when you do business with us you get things done right we're proud to offer a large selection of new and used john deere equipment a fully stocked parts department and a highly trained staff who is here to support you throughout the life of your equipment so get quality done right before every ecu game day and visit qualityequip.com it's bow time <laughs> Some folks say, don't call it a comeback. But when the savory pork chop griller's back for a limited time in all its tender, marinated glory, go ahead, call it a comeback. It's bow time. We call it drive. The unrelenting desire to become the person you were born to be. Ignited by a moment. The realization that a future you could only dream of is within reach. At East Carolina University, you won't just imagine a path, you'll forge one through hard work and the success that comes without surrender. The journey that leads to your future, and this is where it begins. The Mike Houston Show is brought to you in part by Quality Equipment. John Deere offers you quality at every turn. Two. 
Welcome back to Boca Raton as we continue on with the Mike Houston Show, joined by Luke Fisher, who lives in West Palm Beach, was about 30 miles for you. You're looking great, man. You ready to play tight end again? No, I don't know about that. I mean, these guys are doing pretty good themselves, but it's good to be here. How often do you think about playing for East Carolina in that magical season? Well, I still keep in touch with a lot of the boys back in the day, so we text back and forth daily or weekly, I should say, and every time a game comes up. So think about it quite a bit. We always bring it up every once in a while. It's funny to get a chuckle out of it. We always talk about the magical season, but when you think back to Pirate football when you were playing, you guys had some rough years, and you were able to turn it around and, and get it there for that great, great year. I, I did. The first couple years, I think we went 2-9 and nine to start out uh, my first two years. So, I mean, I know there's a lot of frustrated fans out there, but things, you know, you go through these growing pains and stuff. So, uh, hopefully they'll, they'll learn from every game moving forward and, you know, start winning again. So what does Luke Fisher do in West Palm Beach? Uh, uh, me and another guy own a construction company. Uh, we're building custom homes in South Florida, some on Palm Beach, some around the Palm Beach County area. So that's what I'm doing right now. We're looking at other development type stuff, but it's all up in the air right now. Are you still able to keep an eye on the Pirates week in and week out? Trying to, absolutely. Whenever I can watch them play, or whenever I can watch them, I will. You touched on it a little bit, but what do you say to Pirate Nation You know, during a tough season like this? Well, listen, the fans, I don't know if I need to say anything because the fans have always been terrific no matter what. Because even though I know they're frustrated, they're still turning out for the game, which was amazing last week. And they played a really good game. They did. There's just little things that need to get over that little hump. And I think that's how we were in those couple years in the mid-years when I was at ECU. There's the little things we need to to get right, and then the rest will take care of itself. All right, final thought. Did you see Keaton Mitchell last week for the Raiders? <laughs> I did. I saw the highlights. I don't get that game in my region, but I did see the highlights. He played awesome, and good for him. I'm just glad he's representing for us out there as well. And the former Pirate Keaton Mitchell, he's in our Pirate profile this week. Be fine on this series. Second and five. We'll keep an eye on it. As Mitchell breaks it, there's that speed. Mitchell to the end zone, and a touchdown. What do you remember of Keaton Mitchell's arrival, and and what what when did you start? What, when did you see you had something with him? Well, I mean, listen, he's right here. You know what I mean? We're just trying to keep. We, he's a humble guy, which we appreciate. He works really hard. We don't want to. We don't want to ruin that right now. But uh, no, he he's been raised the right way. I mean, here's, he's he's a football family kid. He's a he's a he's a player's son. You know, and uh, and he's got a, he's got an amazing family, and they, and he's been raised the right way. He's humble. He works hard. He knows how hard it is. Doesn't take anything for granted. And um, he doesn't get he doesn't get frustrated too frustrated you know with the injuries and things like that he just fights through it every single day and then see it pay off for him is great and you know he knows the next challenge now they know who he is. Uh, it mean a lot. Uh, my dad was undrafted. He came here. Uh, he told me everything I need to know. Just stay humble. Uh, keep doing what you do and keep thanking God and your time will come. And today it came. So let's just keep going. How about first career touchdown? Great run, 138 yards. And I appreciate every one of y'all boys. Appreciate y'all for giving me the opportunity. Uh, believing in me. Uh, we believed in you. We believed in you. It's on the beginning. Let's keep going, man. The Mike Houston Show is brought to you in part by Pepsi, the official soft drink of Pirate Nation. Check it, check it, check it, check it out. Introducing the new and improved taste of Pepsi Zero Sugar. Now more delicious. Zero never tasted so good. Try it now. Hey folks, Blake and Brad here again from Carolina Windows and Doors. Did you know that metal roofing is one of the most energy efficient and long lasting investments that you can make for your home? If you or someone you know has a roof that's taken a few hits over the years, maybe it's time you give us a call. Our state of the art metal roofs come with a world renowned Kynar resin based coating. This allows for vibrant rich colors that won't fade over time like the competition. And this Kynar coating can achieve solar reflectance of over 70%, keeping you cool in the summer. We have installation crew members that have been with Carolina Windows and Doors for over 30 years. We believe this plays a vital role in delivering the most positive customer satisfaction possible, as well as the highest quality of materials. If you're looking for a home investment that's durable and environmentally friendly, look no further than Carolina Windows and Doors. 
Call us today at 1-800-545-7172. That's 1-800-545-7172 and invest in your home's future. Greenville Nissan is electrifying ECU football. Shop your home field favorites for a great selection of all new electric vehicles. Like the all-electric 2023 Nissan Aria, PD the Pirate approved, and perfect for an ECU game day. Find yours today at your home team Nissan dealer. And get to the game in a new Nissan Aria. Greenville Nissan is electrifying ECU football. Visit your local Optimum store and power your home with 99.9% .9 reliable internet. And stay connected at home and on the go with Optimum Mobile and save even more with an eligible trade-in. Plus, unlock exclusive Optimum Complete Savings up to $15 a month on internet when you add mobile. Get the complete connectivity you deserve. Visit Optimum.com slash stores to find the nearest location. Get closer, go farther with Optimum. Every bite better with Pepsi. We call it drive. The unrelenting desire to become the person you were born to be. Ignited by a moment. The realization that a future you could only dream of is within reach. At East Carolina University, you won't just imagine a path. You'll forge one through hard work and the success that comes without surrender. The journey that leads to your future and this is where it begins. The Mike Houston Show is brought to you in part by Bojangles. It's bow time. Welcome back to the Mike Houston Show. Next up is Navy, but I wanted to ask you something about the Florida Atlanta game in the fourth quarter. I don't know if you heard it, but Don't Stop Believing by Journey yeah. was played. Did well, you think about that? Our strength coach started talking about it. We were in a timeout <laughs> when they were playing it, and, uh, you know, John knows, you know, that's, that's – Amanda and I's favorite song, and he, we got some history with it. And uh, so he said, "Hey, they're playing Coach's song. We got we got to put it away now." So uh, that was kind of uh, kind of eerie. So but it was good. It was good. Yeah. Now we got to think about next week, and maybe they'll play it again. Navy's up next. No doubt. Maybe maybe we start playing in Daddy Ficklin a little bit more. <laughs> That's right. We should. So the middies are up next, though, and Navy's always hard to prepare for. They are, and and we've we've been preparing for them for about the last month. Uh, you know, took took some time on Sundays. We've been looking at their films. Uh, you know, they've, they've had an up and down year, uh, and they've been kind of looking for answers. Uh, I'd be interested to see what, uh, what happened today. I have no idea. They won well, big. Did they really? Yes. Well, I hate to hear that. Yeah. Uh, you know, they, they, uh, they, they've kind of changed some things up in last week's game and went, to, went back to the same traditional stuff they've always been doing, which they have not done most of the year. Uh, so, uh, well, if they won big tonight, we got our hands full next week. But uh, I'll worry about that tomorrow. It's East Carolina and Navy in Annapolis at 12 noon coming up. Coach, congratulations on the big win. Thanks a lot. Good night. Go Pirates. And we'll see you back here next week on the Mike Houston Show. The Mike Houston Show has been presented by Optimum. Get closer and go farther with Optimum. The Mike Houston Show is an exclusive presentation of ECU Athletics and Play Fly Sports.